We're back here again. Coming at you, label, <laughs> live from the house of Oleology. That's correct, a little bit high this makes it all safety conscious for the afternoon, which is exactly where we want to be when we start the weekend. Correct? Oh, correct. Correct. Correct, Mundo. We like to start off with a win. Let's start with a win. A win. A, a win, win, Sasha. A win. a win. Okay, tell us about the win. What is well, the win? One of my wins is I think we're on the Guinness Book of Records. Guinness Book of Records, you say? Because I doubt anywhere, but we are featuring this record right here in Cardinia at Oleology HQ because we have the most people wearing a bow tie and high vis in the same room. Amazing. I think I'm actually connected to that. Yes. So, uh,. Standing, standing very tall and uh, very proud for this moment, but... Um, fantastic, mm. fantastic. So listen, first of all, serious, uh, on, a, on a serious note, I yep. know, how, how can I ever be serious? And that's probably very true, people. But uh, first of all, I'd just like to uh, just do a little bit of shout out about Oleology and what we do. So my friends, this is a proppy prop prop. This is a, uh, a filter, 20 inch filter. Um, called an EB, which is an emulsion breaker. This is what helps us to take away some of those emulsifieds that you have a problem if we're filtering it out. But look, ultimately, we take uh, take your dirty water coming in. Um, obviously, you want a, a, a particular type of water coming out, so a cleanliness mm -hmm. of the water coming out. Okay. And you want to do it as fast as you want to do it. Tell us, what, tell us what those are, and, uh, and we'll get that sorted out for you. This is true. This mm. is true. Mm. It's what we do. But, uh, look... Chris, we've got to put aside, you know, all of the limelight for oh, ourselves. Oh, it's exciting, exciting times but right now. we do have a guest today. A guest? Who's the guest? Well, I'm going to stand back, Chris. I think you may know this guest, but... Uh... Oh, look, I might do. This uh, This guest is an, uh, is an integral part of our team here at Oleology. Um, a, he is a, uh, a fantastic chemical engineer who mm. who is now into automation and instrumentation for us and keeps it all alive and keeps it running and keeps it doing what it needs to do. Um, he's the person we talk to when we need uh, advice in that particular area. So without further ado... Let's introduce, let's introduce Mr. Kaiser Sharif. Come, Come on down. On uh, good evening. Thank you very much, Chris. And Ooh, you good to see you. Very me. welcome. Good to see you. Cheers. Evening, Cheers. Ooh, well. coffee. coffee. There we go. It's all happening. It's all happening. So, uh, Kaiser, obviously a chemical engineer and, uh, you know, getting into, uh, into automation and... Uh, an instrumentation. Now, can you tell us? Uh, can you tell us why uh, why you became an engineer? Can you tell us a little bit about uh -huh. that, perhaps? Uh, Chris, actually, the background is like okay. when I was a kid. Yes. Uh, I wanted to become a dog catcher. A dog catcher. Dog Label. catcher. A, do a dog <laughs> catcher. Like dog catcher. This? <laughs> One day. I tried to catch a dog. Catch a dog, but but, uh, but 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 I was not able to catch dog. Kaiser, yeah. that's that's not a dog. That's not a dog, man. Uh, uh, yeah, Chris, I understand that it's, it's a, a cow. It's uh, it's not a cow. Its name is dog. <laughs> <laughs> so, of course, the name's yeah, dog. Yeah. My uh, mistake. Sorry about that. And so, I was not able to catch dog at that <laughs> time. So I decided after a critical thinking process. Critical thinking. Yeah. I decided to study engineering. Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. Right. And uh, and that's really good news, people, because because he studied engineering, he's ended up along the track at Oleology. And uh, because of that, we've ended up with a really great team member and a person that's a personal friend of uh, Sasha and myself. Yes, and, uh, yes. And it's an absolute pleasure to work with him every day. Thank you. So, uh, yes, my friend. Fantastic. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. yeah. And one thing I would like, like to add, mm. it is... A effort of all the team. Uh -huh. So one person is doing the thing. Team so we are all working as a team. Yep. So fantastic. Yep. Fantastic. Well, uh, look, while Kai's is here, we might uh, we might shoot mm. to Sasha for a. Uh, have you got a, a little fun fact today, Sasha? Just to put you and drop fact. you on the spot. Just drop me on the spot. Drop Do you I on have the a spot. Fun fact. Well, um, I actually learned about the danger zone. A little danger, danger zone here about the, yeah, uh, about the bow tie. Tell you something. Yeah. This is why we have engineers you know? to take us on the experience. <coughs> Our sales department mm. doesn't know anything about bow tie. 
we understand that bow tie is science. just to the clothing, but yes. it's not like that. Mm. Yeah, so look, people, I can't, I can't understand that that at all. So, so just as well, guys, is here. There are hazards involved. It's all happening. Yeah, all my friends and we The threats. Yeah, the top, the top event be being in the middle. Yep, love Plus, it. Bow tie is actually is a risk assessment tool as well. See, all your threats. Take you take five appear people. Appear on the left side. Uh -huh. and all your consequences on the right side. So, using this bow tie, what do you do? You just keep on adding your control barriers and your preventive barriers, and then you start adding your recovery barriers and you reduce the consequences of, the, of your risk. Oh my god! Mind blowing, people, and that is exactly where, you know, Ooh. like, there you go, bow ties in engineering, bow ties in hazard meetings, Ooh. bow ties everywhere. So, look, really, we're probably not the only ones wearing bow ties. I really hope not, because no. I want to bring it Gosh. back. Bring it so, back, people. Um, send me your photos. Send me your photos, your bow ties and your coffees, because on, uh, on a Friday afternoon, that's pretty much where we want it. It's pretty much where it is, yes. And uh, like some of you may have seen, we uh, went out in absolute force at the industry dinner for the Petroleum Club, and... Uh, I think it's catching, Chris. I think, oh, I it's, think it's catching. It's, uh, I think it is. And look, a little shout out to Mr. Campbell Ballantyne from Dare Recruiting. Oh. And I'm coming oh. after you, my friend, in the fantasy, fantasy league, <laughs> Premier League <laughs> tipping of yours. So just watch out, Tyler. I'm that close. But I want to make sure that our viewers here are seeing the latest fashion in bow ties. Guys, you're sporting a very classical black. Thank and you. Uh, And Chris... Is supporting. Make sure that the uh, look. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get a little undressed whoa, here, people. Whoa. A little undressed here, and I'm just gonna sort <laughs> Not of quite come up. Yet, I'm Chris. just gonna. I know. I know. It's frightening. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. Who needs that? Look at this. Look at this little baby. Ooh, there we go. Oh, a little bit up there. There, nice one. <laughs> so, uh, look, that's us for a Friday. Yes. Um, of course, you know, from me and from Sasha and, and from Kaiser, basically, we'd uh, you know, from me, I'd like you to stay well, mm. stay happy. And value, value your, your time. time.